It's now my enormous pleasure to introduce your guest speaker today. Shailesh Vara's story is fascinating. He is a former solicitor, having been born in Uganda where he left at the age of four, just a decade before the expulsion of the Ugandan Asians by Idi Amin. His rise in the Conservative Party has been somewhat meteoric, having helped draft the Justice and Home Affairs manifestos in 2001. Lord Alexander described him as a future Conservative Party leader. One of the first things he did in his post as Minister for Justice was to sign the order opening up, opening up current appointments to the chartered legal executives. He's a friend to Silex, and we are truly appreciative of him being here today. Please win a, welcome Minister for Justice, Shaila Shvara. Well, thank you very much, Stephen, for that very kind welcome. I have to say I'd forgotten some of the things that have been said about me in the past, and I sometimes refer to myself as a former rising star uh, when I think of what Lord Alexander said. Um, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It really is a very great pleasure to be here today, and thank you for inviting me. It's a privilege to be part of your graduation ceremony today, and I am, of course, well aware of the very important role that the Chartered Institute of Legal Executives plays in the legal profession. Let me start by congratulating all of you who are graduating today. I congratulate you for your success and for the, for the long road of hard work it has taken to arrive at this point. I know only too well that it takes dedication and determination to pursue a career in law. This is especially so for those of you who perhaps haven't always had it easy. For example, studying whilst working, as well as trying to juggle family commitments. Ladies and gentlemen, as the son of an immigrant carpenter, I really do know what some of you have had to go through in order to get here today. I appreciate the struggles, the pressures, the difficulties. But through it all, you have triumphed. And today, as you graduate, you have every right to be thoroughly proud of yourselves. We heard earlier on from the president some examples of the stories, the human stories of individuals. And they were simply a sample of what each and every one of you has to say. May I also extend a very warm congratulations to your friends and families, many of whom are here today. During those difficult times, you were there to support your loved ones and I'm sure that they are very grateful for that. But you too must have your moment of joy today. I hope that this will be a memorable and enjoyable day for all of you. A day that marks the beginning of an important new chapter in your lives. We have today a mixture of awards being presented which cover graduates of Silex, fellows of Silex and Chartered Legal Executive Ad Advocates, which demonstrates the full range of qualifications that Silex offers. As you will be aware, the legal services market is rapidly changing. The historical restrictions on the structure of law firms and ownership has relaxed. Legal professionals can now work together in innovative ways, bringing together flexibility for new business opportunities. Alternative business structures enable lawyers and other professionals, such as accountants, bankers, and insurers, to, ex to explore a wider range of commercial opportunity to help their businesses grow. You can choose a career towards a judicial appointment or becoming a partner in a law firm alongside barristers and solicitors. Moreover, the UK legal qualification is valued across the globe, allowing for opportunities abroad. You should be in no doubt that as part of our legal sector, you operate in an area which offers world-class services that are highly valued at home and overseas, and which create opportunities for both legal professionals and UK businesses. Legal services also play a crucial role in our economic growth. 
The sector contributes over £20 billion every year to the UK economy, which is equivalent to 1.5% of the country's GDP. It is an export-orientated sector which contributed some £4 billion in export value and generated a trade surplus of £2.9 billion in 2012. We have a strong reputation as a leading global centre for the provision of international legal services. The attractiveness of English law is evidenced by the fact that around 75% of the claims brought in the commercial court involve at least one overseas party. Never before has there been so much choice about the career routes that you can pursue. You are entering a world where you can choose the type of firm you wish to work in. For example, some of you may decide that you want to become a partner in a, work, in a firm working alongside other professionals offering a range of services, not just legal services. The opportunities are there. You are the new generation. You have the opportunity to be innovators delivering the services that your clients want. And technological advances have opened communication channels between legal professionals and their clients. You can communicate in the way they want with face-to-face -face meetings through the internet or through Skype. As well as opportunities, there will, of course, also be challenges. As new waters are navigated and the market continues to grow organically, the sector will have to continue to learn what the changes mean for you. You will be responsible for being at the forefront as you lead those changes and they play out in the marketplace. Consumers will rely on you for up-to-date, accurate information about the choices available to them when they need legal services. The sector will be competitive, which will both drive up standards and produce cost-effective and efficient services, placing consumers at the heart of the market. I have no doubt that if you meet the challenges with a positive attitude and the same degree of determination you have already shown in overcoming the hurdles and challenges to get to where you are today, you will be able to triumph and make a positive contribution to the legal services market in England and Wales. You will be a part, and an important part of that too, of shaping the legal services of tomorrow. The Chartered Institute offers one of the most flexible routes into the legal profession, and that is reflected in its diverse membership. Achieving a more diverse legal profession is something I am committed to in my role as Justice Minister. One aspect of increasing diversity is making sure it is accessible to people from a variety of backgrounds, and Silex certainly achieves that. The increasing number of opportunities available to your members represents a definite step in the right direction. For example, through the Tribunal Courts and Enforcement Act of 2007, Silex members are able to take up a variety of judicial posts and progress through the judiciary, something that was mentioned by the President in his remarks earlier. As at April 2013, I understand that there are two deputy district judges who are legal executives. This is a start but I am in no doubt that more needs to be done to encourage greater numbers of Silex members to apply for, ju for judicial appointments. And I'm pleased that under last year's Crime and Courts Act, Silex members are now eligible to apply for commissioner positions in the, judi in the Judicial Appointments Commission. And as the President referred to, one of the first tasks that I did in my new role as a Justice Minister was to sign the order allowing you to put in to become coroners. The Commission has worked hard, the Judicial Appointments Commission has worked hard to, advise a, to devise a process to ensure the application of the equal merit provision. It was one of a range of measures enacted in the Act to help increase judicial diversity, and I, for one, welcome this. There are close links between a more diverse judicial, legal profession and greater judicial diversity. Judicial diversity is part of my portfolio of responsibilities, and I'm keen to ensure that there is greater diversity 
in the judiciary in the broadest sense. I hope that some of you in the future will seriously consider becoming a judge. It is crucial that we do all we can to encourage a diverse, independent, and effective legal profession, and a judiciary that properly reflects the society that we all live in. Ladies and gentlemen, we will all be very sorry to lose Diane Burley, Silex's chief executive, the lady who is standing or sitting behind me. She retires at the end of this year. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Diane for all her commitment and dedication over the past 15 years. Her excellent leadership has transformed access to and practice in the legal profession. I'm sure that many of you here will agree that having alternative routes into the legal profession is something that is to be welcomed and will help to enhance the quality of the legal profession in the years ahead. May I offer Diane my personal thanks for all her efforts in promoting greater access to the legal profession and also for raising the profile of the Chartered Institute of Legal Executives. I wish Diane the very best for her retirement when the time comes. And to those of you who are graduating today, may I also extend my very best wishes for a very successful legal career. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Minister, for a really, really encouraging, very encouraging speech to all of us today. It's certainly the, the certainty that Council has and that I share that many of our members, you here today and, and your fellow fellows and other members, will be at the vanguard of innovation that the Legal Services Act has enabled. And um, although I am retiring at the end of this year, I shall be watching to see what you're all doing. Minister, thank you very much for the very kind words also. But I still have eight, and a month, eight months, eight and a half months to go, and we've got an awful lot to achieve between us all. So um, on we go.